the Skin of Muskrat with Nick and Ryan. All right, first, cut around the leg. Try to get all the fur. And then get your knife under the skin. Cut all the way to the tail. Do that to both sides, like so. What I like to do is immediately grab the fur, pull down. It's okay if there's a little meat on the fur. You can always scrape it off. And then take your thumb or your pointer finger and try to get across the fur like that so you can slip your knife through and go down to the tail. And when you go down to the tail, try to get some of the tail on there for the stretcher. And then, as you can see, you see the fat, just cut that and you'll be able to skin it really, really easy. And then do the same for the back side too. And remember to get part of the tail. And normally you can pull back like that and it'll help get a lot of that fur off. Okay, once you get that started, take the clippers and just cut these feet off. And just keep on working your way down the muskrat. Try not to hit the guts because otherwise it reeks. Like that. <laughs> So bad, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, as you can see, this is one of the feet. Try to get, yeah, with this one, you have to poke your finger through. Um, and try to get your finger right through the meat there and then pull it out and that will get you your leg. And then you want to go to the other leg and do the same thing. And once you get down to the head, what I like to do is squeeze and it will pull it down the head just a little bit and you can see all that. Just cut that. And you should be able to get the ears like so. There's an eye. Once you get down to the teeth, if you get down in between, you can get all the whiskers too. And that's how you skin a muskrat. Muskrat. After you're done skinning it, put it on the fleshing board. 
take the scraper and try to get all this axis fat off. Try not to get all the cartilage off because then otherwise the hair just turns out really nasty when it dries and it falls off. Take all that fat, scrape that off, try to get that off. Should come off really easy if you press a little bit hard. And just go around the whole muskrat just doing that until it's nice and clean. Because this fat is the stuff that the buyers do not like and that's will that will drop the price of your muskrat by quite a bit. And see, nice and clean, just all the way. And then what I like to do is take the knife and go around the edges and just try to get all this fat off. Because that's what got me last year. Probably should scrape this side again. Still quite a bit of fat on it. Once you're done with this, take it to the uh, stretcher. Try to make sure everything is evened up. So you want two legs on each side, like so. Once you have that, try to get as close down as you possibly can. Pull down until it's stretched. I like to pull the sides down too. You want to make the muskrat as large as possible. Do the same to the other side. This is where I keep the tail so you can get right down there. And what I usually do is now that's stretched out, I can see the pieces that need to come off to make it look nice for the buyers. Now let's just access fat. Just cut it off. And try to get as much off as you, as you can. You see there's some on the side again. Okay, when you're done flushing with the big flusher, um, take like a little kitchen spoon and just go over the muskrat. It helps get a lot of the grease, fat, or just extra stuff off like, like that. Just off the muskrat. It makes it look really, really nice. And, um, and once you're done with that, um, and when you're ready to hang it, what I normally like to do is put paper clips right on the um, end to keep the nose in good shape and then you are able to hang. That's how you skin a muskrat.